Would you humor me for a moment? <laughs> just a moment. Would you just humor me and tell me maybe the point of a sermon? What's the point of a sermon? To hear it from God. Week after week, you come to church, you sit in pews. Week after week. Some of you have been doing it for 20 years, some of you have been doing it for five. Week after week, you come to church and you sit in pews. I would like to think that a definition is something that you can consistently see is consistent with what it is. A definition is something that defines consistently what something is. So if I say an apple, an apple is fruit, it's red. Usually, and it's pretty red. That's a good definition for an apple. So I'd like to say a sermon, based on my experience, is a waste of time. A sermon is a big waste of time. It's a waste of my time. It's a waste of the pastor's time. All week long. All week long. Hours upon hours in study and research. Oh, not just a waste of my time and a waste of your past time, a waste of your time. A waste of your time. Why? Why would I say such a heretical thing? You see, the purpose of a sermon is to bring back godly change in the lives of people. Not just to save the lost as well, otherwise evangelistic sermons are pointless. And so what's the point of a sermon? What's the definition of a sermon? I say the sermon is probably the biggest waste of time in Christendom that's ever come about. Do you know why? Because if week after week after week you sit in the pew and you apply nothing of what you hear, you waste your time. And right now you'd be wasting my time. You waste your pastor's time. Actually, you're probably even more of a waste of valuable pew space. Because maybe someone that would apply would come if you didn't come. Because you don't apply. You're a hypocrite. You know, for though you have ears, you act as if you were deaf. No. You have eyes, though your eyes have even been opened, you choose to keep them closed. On this Sunday, the 18th of May, I beg of God, not that you would just sit here and hear, but you might listen. Not that you would just sit here and see, but you might perceive and receive. I beg God that your eyes might see you, and even myself, for what we truly are. And it's to that purpose that I endeavor and I embark today, not on just another sermon, but something that might actually do something for your life.